In order for a thunderstorm to form, there needs to be unstable atmospheric conditions, a lifting force, and high moisture levels. With these three actions, a thunderstorm can be created. Generally, the lifting force leading to a thunderstorm is caused by rising air due to terrain, rising air due to unequal warming of the Earth's surface, and rising air due to warm or cold fronts colliding with each other. Once a thunderstorm is created, it goes through a life cycle of three stages. Let's talk about the first stage called the developing stage. In the cumulus or developing stage, the continuous updraft or lifting of air into the upper atmosphere, again caused by rising terrain, unequal warming of the Earth's surface, or cold and warm fronts coming together, that rising air, the lifting air into the upper atmosphere, cools the air and condenses the water vapor within the air into water droplets or ice crystals, which forms towering cumulus clouds. So you start to see the clouds build on top of each other or tower. During this stage, you'll get a freezing level that's sort of near the top of the clouds here in this example between 10 and 20,000 feet. You'll also find high winds and updrafts as well as possibly even in this stage, occasional lightning. As the thunderstorm continues to develop, you get more and more rising air and the water vapor in that air continues to rise and continues to condense into clouds that stack on top of each other. Finally, until it becomes a limit to how much it could rise and it starts to spread out, making a classic anvil shape that we think of when we think of a thunderstorm. And at this point, the clouds become so saturated that it actually starts to rain and you get precipitation falling in showers. Now, this is when a thunderstorm is at its greatest intensity in what we call the mature stage. The mature stage comes with a lot of hazardous conditions. You're going to have the rain showers, which cause bad visibility below you. You're still going to have the updrafts, which cause very, very bad turbulence. And then you're going to have high winds and frequent lightning. Also, the freezing point, which was at sort of the, the top of the clouds, is now near the bottom of the clouds in this example. The third and final stage of a thunderstorm life cycle is called the dissipating stage. And this is where the thunderstorm starts to break apart and end its life. But there are still many hazards that are involved in this stage. There's a lot of energy built up in that thunderstorm and it has to be dispersed somewhere. And this dissipating stage can still have lightning because of that energy. And it is characterized by very, very strong downdrafts, which in a small aircraft can be extremely, extremely dangerous. In summary, thunderstorms are accompanied by some of the most dangerous weather conditions for a pilot, such as high winds, wind shear, up and down drafts, turbulence, hail, rain, snow, lightning, and severe icing conditions. If there is a thunderstorm in the vicinity of an airport where you plan on landing, expect wind shear and severe turbulence and icing on your approach and make strong consideration to land elsewhere. In fact, thunderstorms should be avoided at all costs for general aviation pilots.